Ladies and gentlemen, today we are shooting everything that we see in the map. Okay, as you guys can see, I am uh, uh, looking for a gentleman to show up here. Okay, as you guys can see, every animal that you see uh, right now is uh, ladies. So I don't play with ladies, so I play with only gentlemen. So I was looking for a gentleman over here and he showed up. Two of them. And he was a gentleman with a horn. So I decided to jump up and go towards them a little bit so that I can get a clear shot on them. As you guys can see, they are they are in a spooky mode. So I was a little bit worried. So that uh, so I uh, took out my trusty big old 243 here. Okay, 243 which is chamber in a polymer tip and I let that guy have it let that gentleman have it not the ladies one but as you guys can see that was uh, slightly off shot from the target I mean from the vital organs I was worried about it a little bit and I went ahead and checked it and as you guys can see this was a vital organ hit oh my gosh why am I why am I just changing my accent right now? Which is pretty good, okay? And I don't care. And as you guys can see, I was a little bit lost here. In the track. Where, and after tracking him for a good amount of distance, I finally found him. Fast first on the ground and the grass. And as you guys can see, here's a goal. And let's see where we did hit him. That was... A very little nick to a right lung and he went down. Even the cigarette can kill him, uh, kill us, so why don't a bullet on the lung can, can kill him? After that, I saw his excess deer. He was fleeing from us, kinda, because the wind was towards him. And as you guys can see, he returned back. He turned back for some reason. And the reason is the ladies. Even even though the deer are sim nowadays, okay, sim s i m p sim, they cannot leave the ladies alone, or they cannot live without ladies. So this deer came back, the gentleman came back for the ladies, for the girlfriends that he left. So I waited for him for a clear shot, okay. I waited for him to sew up his uh, whole entire body to give me a good thought on him. All the ladies were like advertising him for me. So I thank you ladies for uh, sacrificing your husband to me. Okay, thank you. And as you guys can see, he sewed up. That gentleman sewed up like, hey, sir. <gasps> Ah, you don't mess with my ghouls. Yeah, I'm not messing with my ghouls. I'm messing with you. So as he arrived here, I let him have my uh, 243 for the mercy in him. And I never saw him again. After uh, tracking his blood trail, I went ahead and uh, tracked him a good amount of distance again. Which was uh, about to prick me out because he wasn't going down uh, very fast and after that I saw him he lying on the ground with a blue blue thing uh, signing on him which is a mark and he is a goal I never found a diamond in this uh, game I'm a newbie so to say guys and Leblanc flies to Leblanc Leblanc and after that I uh, went a distance and saw another hog deer hog deer and he was resting Aram Sikurata No. And I let him have it. He was relaxing. I don't care. I hunt animal for a living. And I hunt animal because my freezer is empty. And as you guys can see, that was a vital organ here. And long story short, guys, I freaked out that a little bit because he wasn't going down easily. I track him like a, I like a, at least 100, 200 meter, which was enough to prick me out. So he was a silver. 
I did not expect him to become a diamond or to turn himself in a diamond or something. And after that, guys, I saw these band tanks. I was tracking this this uh, foxy foxy, but first I saw these band tanks, and after I saw the foxy foxy, I was about to take the sword, and for some reason he got spooked. I don't know what exactly he was afraid of. Maybe he was afraid of me. Maybe he saw me first before I saw him. After the, he ran away, I tried to sneak up to this uh, gentleman relaxing on my uh, stand over there. Then I'm looking through the, looking through my stand. So I went ahead and climb on in. And I decided to take this, this uh, black one. I am not trying to be racist here. Black is my uh, favorite. So I tried to take him. I took out my big old AR-15 chamber in a 308. And I know guys, in this game, this 308 is not big enough to take this uh, gentleman, the black gentleman over there to, uh, to, to kill him, okay? It kills him, but uh, yeah, this is, yeah, I mean, it is not the uh, uh, right caliber to, 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 to take them down, okay? Blah, 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 blah. And he is still running like as if nothing has hit him. So, he is running and running and running like nothing is going on. Ooh. And I went ahead and I went ahead and tracked his blood trail. And as you guys can see, that is a vital organ hit. And I track him for a long distance. And long story short, the power of Edith. As I was tracking him, I saw another Mama Benteng, or Father Ben Benteng, or Grandfather Benteng. I took the sword, and most of the swords are not in the vital organ. They were on his butt, maybe. So I did not track him. Okay. okay. I went ahead and uh, track my uh, bull. My bull. The black one, the black benteng that I just saw, I track him. After a good amount of distance, I finally found him. Never to wake up again. He slept forever. What a sad story of him. He must be proud of himself because of giving me uh, enough meat. After that, I heard a fox call, so I called him again. I called him. Told him that I got a surprise for him and I called him like a hundred times like beep 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 and scan the area see if I can find him and after a few minutes of scanning the place he finally showed up for the big old surprise that I have for him so I took out my 243 243 and and let him have it right between his two legs and he went straight down <laughs> never to wake up again and i was a little kid here jumping around with the the excitement that i have <laughs> and i went ahead and check him out and there he was laying on the ground. <laughs> Fish fully. And I claim him. And he was a silver. But he did give me he did give me a good amount of money. And after that I saw a goat. The goat the goat meat is my favorite <laughs> favorite meat in my entire universe. Paparazzi, whatever. I mean, uh, and I waited him to show up for a good, good view of him, so that I can suit him. And I waited and waited and waited and waited, 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 waited. but he never did give me an opportunity to suit him. So I waited more. But after that, I was bored. I could not wait him any much longer. 
So I tried to seize him. And as I was seizing him, he flee. So as he was fleeing, I was running too, like an ocean bowl. 100 meter race with this goat, Z O A T goat. A for apple, Z for goat, and I let him have it. My 243. Boom! Chakalaka laka laka maka laka chakalaka lam 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 And that was not a good hit, I guess, because he kept on running for entire entire distance of uh, my vision, as far as I can see. He kept on running, and I knew that was not a good hit. As I was tracking him, Mr. Kangaroos turned himself into a Muhammad Ali. They tried to box me, and I tried to become Taliban, and I never hit them with my AK-47 or something. I tried to become uh, Osama bin Laden, and they tried to become uh, Muhammad Ali, trying to punch me, kick me, and I turn myself into a bin Laden, Osama bin Laden, and never was able to connect my uh, shot on them. But in the last moment, I was able to connect a sword on his bird. Created uh, another bird hole <laughs> on that kangaroo, and I never saw them again. He must sleep, and he is going to sleep, and he is going to create a Guinness World Record for the first time because he has a uh, two bird holes. And I finally found my god after trekking uh, like two hours. And as you guys can see, I created uh, another butthole on him. And thank you for your uh, love 